Hi everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video as promised in my in one of my previous videos about uh, travel, my travel journal kit I will make a few videos um, about documenting my recent trip uh, to Gothenburg I went there last weekend for three days so it was rather a short trip um, and I uh, will leave a link to, to that previous video about my travel journal kit um, where I was showing all the things that I took with me and uh, as I said in that video I didn't have much time for journaling um, I kind of expected that but anyway I took my journal of course and some things with me so if you would like to see what what I take with me usually uh, when I'm traveling, I will leave a link to that video. And in today's video, I want to start to document this trip and make a few pages about it in my travel journal. I think there will be probably two videos about it, two or maybe three. And actually, I already started to document my trip. Uh, even during the trip, I had uh, one free morning in the hotel so I started to document this trip already and that's what I made so far that's what I made during the trip not very much I only started to add some ephemera and decorate my pages and just uh, started to journal a bit wrote that we arrived to the hotel that's pretty much all but I made this cover page and also already started to decorate the pages and add some ephemera that I collected. So in today's video I want, con want to continue to document first day of this trip when we arrived. That was Friday. So uh, we actually were staying in Möndal uh, this time, not in Gothenburg uh, itself. Uh, because the main reason why I went there together with my husband was uh, some special event in one of our favorite Swedish breweries and the brewery is located not in Gothenburg but uh, a bit out in the city in the small village um, uh, next to Möndal and we have found a nice hotel in Möndal so we were staying there like kind of to be closer to the brewery and it's also very close to Ottenborg as well. You can go there by tram. We On Friday we arrived to our hotel in Mölndal and then went to to the city center to Gothenburg and went to an amusement park actually. It wasn't really planned or kind of we wanted to go there uh, for a while already but we didn't really plan to do it this time we said that we will make it dependent on the weather and weather actually was not really good it was raining almost all day but but when we arrived it stopped so we spontaneously decided to go to uh, to the amusement park it's called uh, Lisaberry and it's one of the oldest and biggest amusement parks in Scandinavia and it's it just opened uh, for Halloween time, so there are Halloween there were Halloween decorations and all this spooky Halloween atmosphere. That was something that I was really excited about. So it was really fun. Uh, yeah, so I will continue to document this first day of the trip. As always, I printed a bunch of photos. Uh, if you watched my travel journal videos, you know that I always print many, many photos. I just can't pick one or two. I always print a lot. And this is this time it's not an exception. So now I will sort them a bit and just will pick those that are from the first day. So I like to add many photos to my travel journals. I like it to be like a combination of a photo album and a diary. This one is from another day. So there are mostly photos from the uh, from the amusement park because we spent half of the day there until the late evening 
and, uh, and then we went to our favorite metal bar. We always visited when we are there and always nice to be there, nice atmosphere, nice music, nice funny people. So now I just will cut out all these photos from the first day and we'll start to add photos and I also collected a bunch of uh, different ephemera that I want to use some booklets about different places in Gothenburg and business cards and stuff like that. These are also the things that I will be slowly adding, but these are mainly from the uh, next few days already. I already added a business card of the hotel. Also have this rather big uh, information booklet about Mondal where we were staying. So I think I will cut out a few things from this booklet uh, as well. Then I also have a few cutouts with um, information about the amusement park, and I also already included this uh, map that I picked up there. Um, and cut out a few things. So I will start to add photos and decorate my pages. I think this first two pages are pretty much ready and I just will continue journaling there, but I won't add anything else there. But uh, here I want to add a few photos from the amusement park. I always print my photos on self-adhesive photo paper and I often get questions about this paper, but unfortunately it's available only in Sweden, as far as I know it's from a local shop. I buy it in my town where I live in a local shop called uh, Klaas Olsen, that's a shop basically with just with different things for for home, like home decor and stuff for a kitchen and they also have there some electronics and some stationery. So I just buy this paper there. I really like the texture of it. It feels almost like some kind of fabric and it's very thin so it doesn't make my uh, journal too bulky because regular photo paper uh, can be quite thick and as, and I like to add many photos, uh, so uh, and I like that this paper is thin and doesn't add too much bulk to my journal. But unfortunately I can't leave a link to this paper because it's available only in Sweden. I don't think that uh, that shop delivers anywhere else. You can order some things online there, but only, only in Sweden as far as I know. I also mentioned in my previous video where I was showing my travel journal kit that this insert is almost finished. There are only a few pages left, so I want to somehow uh, fit all these things um, about this trip. Still in this insert, I don't want to split it, so I am. Um, and as I add really many photos and ephemera, I think. I would have to be creative and add some additional papers, uh, additional pages, because I uh, have really many photos that I want to add. And there are only a few pages left in this insert, so I'm going to add some additional pages. And I think I'm going to use this map. I think I will use this map as an additional page and just will cut it out a bit, make it a bit shorter. And on this map here is the amusement park. It's mar marked on this map, so I think it fits perfectly. And I really like that most of this uh, 
booklets with some information about the city that you can get for free in the hotels or in the tourist information centers. They are always perfect size for regular traveler's notebook. Uh, at least most of them, they are just exactly right size for putting them to your traveler's notebook. And I really like that fact. It's always very convenient. So, okay, so I'm going to add this as an additional page. I think I just will use some washi tape to stick it to, to my page. So let's see how how best to do it, or maybe maybe like this. Yeah, I think I will do it like this, that it will open up this way. So I have some paper, ephemera and stickers in this zipper pouch, so I will take them out and on this side I have some stickers, so I also will take them out. I'm going to use some of this definitely. And I also have this sticker release paper insert from Traveler's Company with all, all the stickers. I think I will use this uh, strip of PAT tape that I have here with some autumn flowers. I think something like that this works nice and then I can just add more decorations okay something like this now I have more space for photos use this um, other part of the booklet which says uh, 100 years in Gothenburg and this year some of the places in Gothenburg uh, turned 100 years and also this uh, amusement park where we've been to Lisaberry also turned 100 years this year it was founded in 1923 so I will add this piece here because this information here on the back is about some other places where I haven't been to so it's not really not really fitting to, to my spread um, but, but this yes and then I will add some more decorations as always we'll add some more uh, stickers before journaling Okay, something like this. I think now I have uh, all the all the ephemera and photos from the first day in my journal. Everything what I wanted to add. So now I can add more decorations, more stickers, and some tapes and stuff. And then I will journal about this day. But yeah, now is my favorite part: adding stickers. I already have some here, so I think I just will uh, go through this uh, sticker insert and see what fits here.
So I added a few more small stickers here and there and these are my final pages. About the first day before I will journal about it, so I think now I will write down a few things about, about this day, about the places that I visited and then we'll show you the final result how the first day turned out and then in the next video we'll continue with the next two days. I journaled about the first day of the trip. Um, so these are the pages that I made. And uh, there are two more days, so I hope you liked this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!